push back swift after a neo-Nazi protest in Jamaica Plain. These groups are not welcome in the city of Boston. The same group also showing up at the St. Patrick's Day parade with a banner reading Keep Boston Irish. Earlier this month, another white nationalist group marched in Boston. White supremacy uh, and the imprint of white supremacy in Massachusetts and the Boston area simply won't stand it. Concerned about the uptick, Suffolk County District Attorney Kevin Hayden now expanding his office's civil rights unit. We're hiring a uh, new Superior Court Assistant District Attorney to work specifically on these sorts of cases um, and also uh, having an Assistant District Attorney in the District Court to handle them as well. U.S. Attorney Rachel Rollins set to roll out a hotline to report white supremacy. It's really gratifying to see the District Attorney, the U.S. Attorney, and elected officials at every level speaking out. ADL New England says anti-Semitic incidents are on the rise. While police did have advance warning about the latest protest, the ADL says it's not always the case. They've changed their tactic, so they like to just show up unannounced. That means that law enforcement now needs to be prepared for flash demonstrations. Boston Mayor Michelle Wu says police are working to keep tabs on these groups. We're working very carefully to monitor and to make sure that when they do pop up, there is a clear zero tolerance policy. Now, the Suffolk DA says another reason he's adding these two new prosecutors is because of the upcoming midterm elections and concerns around the 2024 elections. We're